sensing module within Explory Lab is the perfect environment for just seeing in real time what values your sensors are returning. When you open up the environment, you'll be in gauges mode. And from here, you will see a collection of gauges that all update in real time, depending on what their specific sensor is reading. So as environmental conditions change, the gauges will update accordingly. To adjust what type of gauge you have selected or which sensor is currently being viewed, you can click anywhere in the box with the sensor and change it from one type of environment to another. You can also, as you may have noticed, adjust the range. If you would like to view fewer than four sensors at a time, you can change how many are on screen simply by using the buttons along the bottom. Another view mode within sensing is the bar mode. Now bar mode will be tracking just a specific sensor's data and it will give you a history of that data as well. So as I move my temperature probe from hot water to cold, we will start to see the bars move down. And as the data continues beyond the original collection, it will just push the old data out of the way as new data is added. This is the only environment in sensing that will allow you to see more than a single data point for any given sensor. To start and stop your experiment, use the play button at the bottom. The final view mode is pictographs, and pictographs, like gauges, will show multiple sensors simultaneously. You can add and remove different sensors, as well as control the range of each sensor or which sensor it is selecting using the three buttons on the right hand side. Now again, as the data up will change, such as you can see when I change the environmental conditions, the number of icons will also update according to the new sensor's readings. This environment uses it as sort of a percentage or a fraction of the set range. So when it fills the given range of that sensor, it will show all 10 icons. And when it is lower than the maximum range it can be, it will show it as a fraction over 10. So the most you will have is 10 of any given icon and the least you will have is zero. This is really good for counting, comparisons, and of course, using fractions, decimals, and percentages without being worried about specific units. So there you are, those are the basic functions and features available to you within the sensing module of Explory Lab.